Hey, good morning. We are at Beardsley, Minnesota. We've got a little, little dust, uh, John Deere drill. It's a cute little guy, 24 rows. So we're gonna work on that today. We are gonna knock this out in one day and we're gonna show you how. All right, let's get going. First, let's take a look what we got here. So we've got uh, new gauge wheels planned. You can tell there's, there's a few issues with these. Some stubble damage here. They, they mostly do beans with this one. This is a 1990 CCS machine. Uh, the closing wheel arm pivots are, are still okay. Press wheel arm pivots are still free. They're a little wiggly, but they're good. Um, you notice how the whole row moved when I did that? So we are going to Fix that pivot there. We're gonna change out the main opener and pivot. Seed boot is pretty sloppy. That is another thing we're gonna take care of. His boots are in great shape. The discs are a bit small, so we're gonna change out the discs. We've got our 30 point notch discs in the truck. We're gonna put those on. Those are gonna work great in uh, like corn stubble and other stubble trash. Uh, we've got a bolt on notch closing plate we're going to add to the closing wheels what else we got oh v8 firming wheels he wants to get rid of bearing problems in these wheels the seed boots were still okay like i said but you can tell the discs are pretty small a real quick way to see how big of diameter the discs are is when you look at uh, where the disc comes in relation to this point see how the the disc is actually smaller than the back of the boot, so. The depth adjusters are good, so we're not gonna mess with those. They got some life left, and it should be a good day. All right, so we got the gauge wheels off, the discs are loose. Once we get the press wheel arm off, or the press wheel off, we're able to drop the depth adjuster down and this should walk right off, just like so. Chadron's the tallest, so he gets to crawl under there. <laughs> that makes sense, right? Yeah. <laughs> we got Danny and Slim here, making sure we're doing a good job. They were helping, they did uh, stack the gauge wheels and help us haul some of this away. And they're just fun to have around. Okay, now we've gotten most of the row unit disassembled. We're just using an air chisel to help us remove these pins. You don't have to, but it sure makes it easier. But I'm going to go and probably work on installing on these. Hey, Bucky, say hello to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. We do it all here. We even talk to our Kazakhstan friends who live in Canada right now. <laughs> trying to make trying to make a deal in Kazakhstan work where the customer needs some disc levelers. Uh, the other company's out of disc levelers. We've got about 150, so we might be able to air freight some over to get them by this spring. So this is a pretty cool setup. Here we're using mechanical advantage to our advantage. I'll go get the wrench. What size is it? It's a big wrench. There should be the old one. Like I say, out with the old, in with the new. Pretty quiet over here. Let's go see what Isaiah is doing. Sitting on a chair. <laughs> How could you? Our team didn't just pre-assemble that, huh? No. Well, that's okay. So we got a box of our stabilizers here, and Isaiah is putting the nut on the bolt. Well, I guess it'll look like this when he's done. 
yeah, Main USA guys. Got a new version of this coming out real soon, this summer. And then I snug up these bolts here, just so that it holds the stabilizer in place. You don't want to crank on this. You just want to get it nice and snug. Remember, it's only a 10 millimeter bolt or a 3 8 bolt. And then you snug up the jam nut pretty good. And now we're in the last row. We are done with stabilizers on this machine. And now we're putting on discs. Making good progress. Pattern's going along and tightening all these bolts that I'm leaving loose. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We've had a great time over here at Herberg Farms in Beardsley, Minnesota. We've uh, done a 24 row 1990 CCS machine. It was in pretty good shape, but it needed some help. And um, you guys are gonna get a lot more life out of this with a, or some great improvements. Thanks for having us out here. We really hope you guys have a great seeding season. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching and God bless. Thanks for helping us keep farmers farming.